Hello, in this video we are trying to identify the trigonometric functions. And what we're looking for here is our sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And we'll, we'll kind of walk through all of these. And these are not too bad. You're used to doing these, but the problem with this particular problem is on this triangle, I don't know all of the sides. They're not given to me. So we're going to have to identify what the shorter side is up top here. So let's start with that. And remember that this is a right triangle, and because it's a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean's theorem. So Pythagorean's theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that means the two shorter sides here, we're going to square each one of them individually, then add them together, is equal to this hypotenuse squared. All right, so a is going to be 8 in this case. So 8 squared plus b squared equals 10 squared. Okay, we know 8 squared is 64 and 10 squared is 100. So now I'm going to solve it for b squared. That means I need to move that 64 over. I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides, and that will give me b squared equals 36. Well, if b squared equals 36, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of both sides, b is equal to positive 6. It's only positive in this scenario because it's a measurement. Measurements cannot be negative. can't have negative 6 inches. It's weird. Okay, so now that we know what b is, I can label that one. Okay, and once you got that label, now we know all the parts. Now we just kind of go through all of our ratios here. Sine is equivalent to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Now, and it's all relation to theta here. Uh, we've got sine of theta. So that means the opposite side is going to be 8 divided by 10. And 8 divided by 10, we can reduce that. So that's going to be 4 fifths. Next, we'll do cosine. And cosine is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So the adjacent, that's the one next to it right here. That's our 6. 6 divided by 10. And of course, we can reduce that as well to 3 fifths. Tangent is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Opposite side is 8. Adjacent side is 6. We've got 8, 6, which can be reduced to 4 thirds. Now here's where we go into our, our new ones here. And this one's cosecant. Okay, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, or as I like to refer to them, the reflipperical. Okay, what that basically means is we're just going to take these and flip them, right? Now this is the fancy way of writing it, but writing it, but what we can do is we can just flip these two. This is going to be hypotenuse divided by opposite, or we just take whatever the sine was and flip the two, right? So that's going to give me five fourths. The secant is the same thing, but it's in relation to cosine. Okay, so secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this cosine right here and flip these two. Instead of 3 fifths, it will be 5 thirds. And then fi finally, we're going to do cotangent. And cotangent, same thing. It is the inverse, right? It's the reciprocal um, of tangent. So that's going to be the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So in this scenario, it's going to be 3 fourths. Okay, and, that's, and you'll need all six of those when we redo these on homework.